Hello everybody, Colton R here. Welcome back to more NASCAR Thunder 2004. In the last episode, we went to Dover and raced in the Delaware 400, the, the Winston Cup race that was supposed to be in the season mode but wasn't. And we won the race and got a trophy. Just like the other races we did during the season mode. So yeah. But now, in this episode, we are headed to Infineon Raceway. Back at Infineon to go night racing at Infineon. It's the Sonoma 350K. So yeah, nighttime Sonoma. It would, I think it would be a pretty good idea to race at Sonoma during night. Like seriously, road course racing at night. That would, that would bring in big bucks. Big bucks to the freaking cup series. Like seriously. You're, I'm talking about hundreds of thousand dollars. Maybe, maybe maybe millions. Who knows? And you know some. I don't think I'm going to qualify this time around. So let's just go racing. We're at a two-mile road course, the Infineon Raceway, for another NASCAR Winston Cup race. This course should present quite a challenge to these drivers, wouldn't you agree? Finding a safe place to pass here is tough, to say the least. Look for a lot of action in the final turn, a tight hairpin where drivers will be trying to outbreak each other all race long. I didn't press a button. I swear I didn't press a button. I did not press a button to skip Johnny Benson. The game just did that by itself. Well, I guess the game is tired of me playing this game. It, it just wants me to get these freaking, you know, tracks done and, you know, move on to my next project, I guess. But I still got about, like... Uh, this is race number seven, so I got uh, about 19 or 20 more bonus races left to go, so yeah, and move out of my way guys, I gotta win, I gotta win at nighttime Sonoma, I'm a crazy guy behind the wheel. Oh, hi Jerry, remember when you got the pole here? Yeah, and you didn't get the pull here now. Nope, Jeff's mad, but I don't really care. He's driving a Looney Tunes car. You're clear. That pass was for position. Nice job. Oh, I blew my engine already? Really? Uh, oh well, I still may contain control of my car. <coughs> Excuse me. Move Junior out of the way, and now I'm in the grass. Oh! Wombo combo right there. Hit Kurt Busch to hit Junior. Wow. And now I'm about to catch up to Mark Martin again. Got him out of the way. And here we go. Also, when's the last time I was at Sonoma? I had to... Battle Kurt Bush for the win. Pretty sure. But yeah, and there's me blowing my engine. And no, I don't want to pit. This car is on the track. Green flag is in the air. The track is clear. We run the caution. And we're back underway. Racing down into the corner. And the leader is down the track. If you let him by, he's gonna make things tough on you. The 97 car is coming right. On your right. Wow, Kurt really wanted my position. That's probably because he's mad. He's mad at me because I ran into him. But that's fine. I can just just drive away without no problem. Oh boy, 
Ow, I just hit the wall. No, Kurt Busch has a chance to freaking take the lead, but nope, he just ran out, ran out of speed. Come on, Kurt. Are you trying to make this a competition, or are you just trying to be like, you know what, I'm going to try, but I'm just going to lay off the speed for some reason. Man, I was point zero zero seven seconds off that time. Try to keep Come on! How was I point zero zero seven seconds off my best lap? I was definitely going fast. Junior wants to take the lead. Watch it, there's a car on your left. He's a little angry with your driving style. Be careful, buddy. Oh, I know. Because I'm letting him bump into me. And that's why he doesn't like my driving Party style. Left. The eight car is beating on you. If you let him by, he's gonna make things tough on you. All right, buddy, we're in second. There's a guy on your right. Man, I am just destroying Junior's car. We are just beating and banging. And there he goes. There goes Junior. Whoa! Came back across me as my engine gave up and I repaired it with quick repair. And look at me! Pulled away! Woo! Man, that was amazing. And I had to go with a Ric Flair woo. Woo! Like, look at that woo! That's a Ric Flair woo moment. Ugh, that was so close. Woo! Like Ric Flair. Nah, not gonna pit. Oh, would you look at that. I won under caution. Thank you. Thank you very much. I win! Yay! I was under caution. So let's celebrate! Yeah! Woo! Like Ric Flair with the woo. I don't know why Ric Flair saying woo is like entertaining to me. Mainly because he was, I guess he was an entertaining man. But I don't know why I'm bringing up Ric Flair, the wrestler, and this is a NASCAR game. I don't know. 
Well, actually, I think Ric Flair did make an appearance at a NASCAR event sometime. Don't know when, but it's probably a while ago. Ah, uh, yeah, perfect donuts. Some of these highlights are not that good. Oh, whoa, hold on. It just, it just showed the, it showed the, the thing. It showed the, the crash I, I created to, you know, end the race. So let's see, I think it's the next reel. The next clip. Let's see. Uh, let's try another camera. Okay, we're on TV set two, and hopefully this one will show it. And it didn't show it. Let's try with the front bumper cam. Let's see if we can see that crazy uh, move I did on Dale Jr. Oh yeah, that was pretty close. And then let's get the dynamic camera a chance. And if the dynamic camera doesn't work at all, it's fine. Anyway, yeah, it's just like the other TV sets are actually, yeah, yeah that was okay. But show you how close that was. But I think I'll be able to make a thumbnail out of all I've seen here today with these highlights. But anyways, enough, enough of the uh, highlight reels. Time to go to Victory Lane to celebrate. Another giant check, $139,000. That's a lot of money. And Kurt Busch, Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Jeff Burton are all mad at me. Of course. So I win the race. Uh, Dale Jr. finishes second. Kurt Busch third. Michael Waltrip fourth. Sterling Marlin 5th, Dale Jarrett 6th, Jimmy Johnson 7th, Mark Martin 8th, Jerry Nadeau 9th, and Rusty Wallace in 10th. Cool.
And new accomplishments to my EA Sports bio. Cool. I like, I like, you know, doing the accomplishments. They make my EA Sports bio so cool. Now that we're done with Infineon, next time we're headed back to Kansas for the Kansas 400. Now, back then, Kansas was only a daytime track, but now Kansas is, is considered to be a nighttime track as well. Thus, EA Sports gave us, you know, the future in this game. And we'll be racing at nighttime Kansas in the next episode. So with that, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of NASCAR Thunder 2004. If you enjoyed it, smack a like on it, subscribe if you're new to this channel, check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel. And I shall see you guys next time for more NASCAR Thunder 2004. So with that, I'll see you guys later.